What's going on, guys? I am Rita, and this is. Who are you? Just the guy in the green shirt. At okay. <laughs> All right. So today we are doing a little behind the scene of Jack uh, Dream Car engine build. And what do we have going on there, Derek? Tell us about this engine. So obviously it's a 4G63. Um, we're getting ready to put everything back together. We have the cylinder walls cleaned up, um, all the main journals, rock and crank and all of that stuff. Um, but it's got a nice little shiny, tiny crank. Stop making fun of the crank, Derek. We're making fun behind you know, with Jack and his little tiny crank. So, all good. So for those of you guys that know us, um, we normally build a lot of uh, RB engines and BQs. 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 So obviously those cranks are way bigger. So that's why we were making fun. All right, so here I'm just double checking, making sure everything is good. Uh, Rita's cleaning, the final cleaning for the pistons, rods, uh, bearings, and caps. Uh, just for, before we install, <clears throat> we're going to get them all cleaned up and ready to go. So while Reader is installing all the studs, I am preparing the bearings and all the other little things to get installed into the short block. Go ahead. I'm going to put the crank in and uh, check main bearing clearance. Mm -hmm. So we're just putting a little bit of assembly lube on the side. I like to put it on the side so I could stick my crush wash, crush, uh, crush washer. Thrust washer, yeah. which I already cleaned <clears throat> and they're right here. So we're getting ready to stick the crank in. Gotta make sure we put them in the right spot. You better make sure. All right. So what I'm doing here is setting the rings up. Um, I'm gonna ring gap them, measure them, and make sure I have enough uh, clearance on the rings before we install. Uh, so it's a, l a lengthy little process, but it works really well for boost. All right, let's check in with Jack and see what he's doing. How's it looking, Jack? Very good. Very, very good. good. It's nice and shiny. It's uh, it's it's very nice, and uh, hopefully it makes lots of uh, vroom vroom and choo noises, choo choos. I need the choo choo noises. That's the goal. It's it's, <laughs> it's like the hot boy, the hot boy summer. Hot I'm boy. And I need to live that hot boy summer. So. All right. We'll see. we'll see. We're going to make that possible. It's going to happen. I know yep. it's going to happen. It will happen. How are you doing, Derek? I'm waiting on Jack. Uh-oh. He's playing with the crank. I'm polishing my crank. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just got demonetized. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a good one. That was All right. So I'm placing the cranking position. The reader is uh, actually getting the plastic gauges ready for me so we could uh, test our clearances. We're right done the money. What do you think, Jack? You all about the same? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jack, your hands are so big. Your fingers, like. You get the mechanic hand. Blocking all my shots. Two thousand. Two thousand. Okay. We have Jack his favorite tool, so he could do the <laughs> honors. Let's do this. Can I do it like this? No, no. This feels right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to break the ring now. <laughs> like, what? Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't supposed to do that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so off to the cylinder head. We have springs, retainers, keepers, valves, all of that good stuff to go in here. Uh, it is a little bit of a lengthy thing to do, uh, but I have a helper here. Jack is. Um, learning and helping me to hold. Usually uh, Rita would do this with me, um, but she's out of town. So 
got my faithful buddy Jack. And um, he's actually doing pretty good in, in holding and installing also. He actually helped on a few of them install. And uh, we're getting this thing done. We're getting it ready for the moon. All right, so as you can see, it's, it is a little bit of a pain, but Jack and I got it done and ready to go. On to the next step. And now we are finished with putting the springs in. Take a look at how good this looks. So we're uh, we're revving to the moon, right? This is absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Now we're good to go. Yeah, it's ten all the way. Ten thousand RPMs. That's it. That's that. What? That's it. Ah, I think we can go more. <laughs> so these things are really nice. They are very capable springs. These can handle a lot of load and they will be able to handle all of the force that I'm putting at this thing. And now, since we have the pistons to go along with the built top end, we will have a built bottom end. And this is going to make this thing so much better. This thing is going to drive so nice. I cannot wait to hear these cams and hear this thing start up. I'm probably going to cry. I've already told Derek this. I'm a sensitive guy, if you guys didn't notice already. The first video I cried, okay? So when this thing starts back up and we are driving this car, it is gonna be a monumental moment and it is gonna be something that felt like it was never gonna happen, but it is here now. So let's keep cranking on this, dude. This thing is looking great. And next step is putting in the lifters and putting in the cams and- Cams and all that stuff in it. And we're built, right? Well, hold on a second. Wait, I thought, I thought we were building this thing to run like a Cadillac. Oh no, oh no. Sequential, two step, All right. everything. E85. Man, so, so we're not driving around like a Cadillac? No, 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 no. My right foot says no. All right. <laughs> So we have the lifters all cleaned up, ready to go. So we're looping them and installing them into the cylinder head and getting all the intricate little pieces together before I uh, drop this on the short block assembly and kind of explaining to Jack also at the same time. All right, so the previous assembly that we put together, uh, piston pin three was giving us a little bit of issue um, with some clearance. So we went ahead and do all forge internals. Um, so we could have a higher RPM and stronger bottom end. So got all the pistons in, get ready to go. Um, putting the cylinder he head studs on there. We're gonna bolt the heads on and uh, retorque uh, real good, get it all set and ready to go. And now we're just finishing up all the torque sequences and <clears throat> then we're gonna end up putting back all the lifters into it, lubing them and retightening. And we're gonna get ready to put the uh, camshafts in and final assembly for torquing all the cams and cam caps. So on all the intricate final uh, details and steps that we have to do here, um, just trying to get it done and torque everything down to move on to our next step. And here Jack is just trying to distract me with um, whatever it was on the phone. I don't even remember what it was. We should be good to go now. All right, what's going on, guys? So I am back in the shop. Uh, was gone for a few days, so I'm gonna check in with Derek. Looks like him and Jack got quite a bit done on the engine belt. When I left, just the bottom part was put together, and now we have the head in there as well. Derek's working on a few things over here. <clears throat> excitement. Tell me all the excitement that oh, I Oh, the excitement. We put it back together and then we had number three piston pin um, had a little bit too much clearance in there. So we had a little tapping on the piston. So we ended up taking it apart and put pistons and rods, uh, manly pistons, manly rods into this um, assembly. And the MLS head gasket, ARP studs, 
Um, we've got 272 cams in there, all set up. So currently I am putting the balance shaft elite that's on the bench here, um, installing it into the oil pump, and then we're gonna set it up on timing, and then we're gonna slap it in there. Slap it in there, yes. just like and that, slap right? Slap it in there. Well, this is looking good here. All right. Let's... It'll be screaming soon. But he's gonna be mad he's not here because you're using the hammer, and that's his favorite too. Yeah, I, I I know he's gonna be upset, but it got hammered. <clears throat> All right, guys, while Derek is working, I just want to take a moment to let you guys know that we are going to be doing a build series on a couple of 240s that we have um, started on but never finished the projects. We have five of them to be exact. So one by one, we're going to be going through them and, you know, go through the, the process of what's going on on them, what we're doing, what we're finding, all of that good stuff. So if you guys um, would like to see more of that, please let us know. And please subscribe to our channel. Leave us comments. Let us know what it is that you want to see. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay. Getting to final stages, Derek? Yeah, a little bit. Got some more pieces on there. Yeah, we got some more pieces. We're just getting all the bolts, getting everything yeah. set up. Definitely decent. All right, so we're finally putting some of the pieces on the uh, front of the engine together, the uh, cam sprockets, the water pump, getting it all mocked up, um, trying to get the coolant lines and stuff like that ready. Um, final assembly on the new oil pan. Uh, silicone wasn't working, so we had to get a fresh silicone there, but it's all nice and clean. So basically, what we've done now is Derek has come through and put all of this front end together. We got the cam gears on, and we have the oil pump in place, and we are going to prime the whole engine assembly. And that is going to push oil up here through the hydraulic lifters, and that is going to give us good oil pressure, as well as it's going to create a good lubrication throughout the engine before we start it up. Because that's a good thing. We don't want the metal shavings to go through this engine again. Mm. We've already done that once. We don't need to do that again. Where the, the whole purpose is for us to get the hydraulic lift. Okay, a little bit spirit. Yep, yeah, yeah, we're All right, so it's time for the fun part. Uh, Rina and I are getting ready to put this timing belt and time this engine real good. So. We're putting it on and it's just been a little difficult. It keeps wanting to move. So we um gonna put a locker on there, lock the time lock the cam uh sprockets in and then retime it. And uh it worked out pretty well. Hey. <laughs> just kidding. Oh look at that. It came right That's out. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting like a noise. Right? Yeah, wait, Charles. Wait, Charles. Can you do a... Can you say Can something you for one? us? <laughs> <laughs> Can you do a quick one? Wait, what, was the, what was the joke always like? Uh... It was always like the, the you know why, what, why Charles only has uh, one left nut? Why? Because you got the right one, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was like in middle school. <laughs> you know, people were saying that he's really not blind. Like he can still see because um, one time Shaquille O'Neal walked in the elevator with him and they could hardly fit. 
Dude. And he freaking moved. Like, like he knew. He just he... senses. Yeah. Like he so? sends the present. Sure. Yeah. Well, why do you need your ice then, Jack? You can that control your ready. senses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually putting this engine, the rest of it together. He's just senses. feeling it. He's doing it by feel. <laughs> If it fails, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's late in the afternoon, crunch time. And we've got to get this thing all buttoned up and dress up. Uh, turbo manifold, turbo, and all the lines and plumbing that needs to get on there. We've got to get it all handled um, pretty much tonight and ready to go into the car. Uh, we had to take a break for a little bit, but um, we got back on it and we successfully got it all buttoned up and pushed over. So because our time factor was really, really close in terms of getting all of this done. It was a lot of long nights, lots and lots of long nights. We're coming down to crunch time. Derek, what do you got going on? Uh, we're cleaning up the threads on this thing here. Um, threads kind of pulled out a little bit. Or it wasn't clean properly. So go ahead and clean it up before I put the stoppers in. Yeah, we got a hot mess going on everywhere. All the good stuff. But everything is coming along nicely. So we've installed the ATI damper much larger. So we had to get an extra belt, a longer belt, sorry. And now what we're, we're having is that our belt is hitting on the oil pump nut um, cover so now we would have to modify that for a belt time to, to cut some stuff to cut and some. jack what do you got there my favorite tool Fav one of his one favorite of tool his second best he's about to butcher to the hammer. Holy <laughs> <laughs> wait let me give you some light hit that bolt. Okay. Oh, you're going Got all the way much. through? You don't need that one. Why? You don't want to go more? No. Okay. Go in more. Well, I'm going to have to go like sideways. 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 That's what I was going to say. End of your project. Yes. Stress factor. Who's up? You can't measure it right now. Oh, you guys did an amazing job. I don't. I would have never ever even been able to get to this point right now without you guys. And I'm super grateful for you guys. Thank you so much. This looks amazing. Like this is a brand new engine. I can't wait to see what this thing makes. Uh, man, I'm speechless. This is more of a learning experience for me because you guys are way more experienced and knowledgeable about this. And without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to do this. It w if I did, it would not be going to SEMA. It would be well, done next year. So. Nay, I think yeah. you would have done all right. Thank you guys. We're glad we could help. Oh, man. Right, so, on. time to wheel it across the, across the parking lot. Yeah, let's do it. And right, let's do this. Ready to go. Go to the next stage, put it in the car. We don't or anything else, right? If we need, we'll come back and get light. Sweet. 
Only the best. Pittsburgh quality. That's where the steel came from. Yeah. You got it, Derek? So we are how many days away? Like three, four days away from SEMA. Just got the car on the alignment rack. And Derek is getting to start the alignment. Uh, let me flip my camera. We are adjusting coilovers, getting ready to bleed the brake system, and do an alignment. And then I think the car is going to be picking up in like a couple hours. Two, two, three hours. So we still got lots to go. You can, you can let go. Jack, how's your stress level? I mean, you know. I'm, I slept at the shop last night. Uh -huh. So, I feel okay. But feel okay. It's coming together. It's getting there. Absolutely. You guys are... The only reason it's going to be going so stop saying that thank you and i am so tired <laughs> french time i think uh i think after sema i sleep for a month exactly you take a vacation oh no no i know that's why i took that three hour nap <laughs> say hi freddie hello this is my behind the scenes of oh. the engine bill wonderful yeah <laughs> this is uh, quite a build yep Are you crying again? The kind of show, you know, like what you got really needs a lot. Really, really needs a lot. Don't cry. <laughs> Don't do it. But I, I, I thought that would be cool instead of having an auto. You guys need both. You guys need both. Awesome. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, man. I love it. Thank you. But I wanted it here to put it on, but you know, they, they're bringing it there to me. So I wasn't able to. Uh, along the way, so many cool people have helped me with this car. Number one, my boy here, he's the reason why this is even possible. My friend Derek and uh, his wife Rita, they built the whole engine from the ground up. They came through in a very, very, very tight schedule. We literally had two weeks to build the engine yeah. before we had to get the car together in the next week. So, and then uh, there, there were some setbacks. Yeah, we had a, a piston with a loose wrist pin. A real Street Performance came through. They hooked us up with Manly Turbo Tough pistons and rods. Uh, we have the I beam rods. They also did this intake cover here, and it says DRZA built. Uh, that's Derek and Rita's shop, and that's their whole family. Actually, that's their their family's names: Derek, Rita, Zach, Zachary, and Hayden. Yeah, and. So that was something special to me that I wanted to do as just a, a, an homage to uh, the fact that this isn't possible without friends. This whole build has been about the fact that you can build a cool car. A lot of cool cars can be built by, you know, one or two different people working on it. But this car was a car that was built with love by so many different people. And without those people, none of this is possible. Yeah. So super thankful for them.
Let's see what this thing does. No. <laughs> Let's see if Jack still have a laugh on his face. <laughs> okay, so now we got Derek and Rex in the car. Derek is the one who put this car together. He did a lot of work with the engine. So we're just gonna get over here to the corner. We're gonna get it to about 3,000 RPM like we had before. We're gonna go full send. All right, temps are good, so. Temps are good, road's clear. Ship's nice, too. The clutch is still a little fresh. So we'll get it up to about three and then we'll get past this little hump. Back in the windshield over there. <laughs> I thought I was gonna fly out. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Holy crap, that thing is fast. So it, it gets it. And first gear is a little short. The but first gear is always short on these cars. So that's why I don't like to do a dig on them. Yeah. I've never done a dig on a, a Evo. That's Same thing with the Civics and stuff. But, um, dude, uh, it's, second gear hits nice. It does, man. We just ran out of road right there just now from that semi. So, uh, but yeah, definitely we we'll, we'll keep playing with this thing. Dude, it's fun. Uh, it's fun. Like so, quick. are you enjoying this thing? Oh, I'm loving this car, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really appreciative. You guys did so much work, helped me get this thing going. But. All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, let us know how you feel about this video. Please like, subscribe, and share. And um, leave us a note in the comment if you want to see more videos like this. We'll catch you on the next one.